In October of 2010, a delegation from Maine visited its sister state of Aomori Prefecture in Japan. Among other stops, the delegates visited yeah. Mutsu Kaden Toki Company, which manufactures specialized equipment for the scallop aquaculture industry and specifically a technique called ear hanging. Following are brief clips of the machinery that the delegation observed and descriptions of their functions. The video is courtesy of Dr. Christopher Davis of the Maine Aquaculture Innovation Center. Japanese scallop is Patinopectin yezuensis, or the yezo scallop. One of the first steps in the process is to grade the shells to approximately the same size. This is done so that the holes can be properly placed near the hinge of the scallop, shown in the next step. This machine produces three size categories or grades. The next step is to drill the hole, usually 1.5 millimeters in diameter. This machine takes approximately one second for scallop. Here is a view of a hole drilled into a sea scallop. The location is inside the bissel groove of the lower shell, and this prevents the pin from restricting movement or causing damage to the tissue. Eventually, the pin will be overgrown right into the shell. Next, the group saw two machines for putting ear pins into the grow outlines. The first machine is the older of the two, and pins were inserted manually, whereas the second machine is fully automated. Of 
course, once pins are set into the lines, they need to be removed before the line can be reused. And there is a machine for this step too. Although ear hanging is a heavily automated process, it still appeared that putting the scallops onto the pins was a manual process. As you may have heard the translator say, the pins are put in from the lower or white side, again, to prevent tissue damage from the barb on the plastic pin. Here is an example done in Maine, with the pin fitting into the hole drilled into the bissel groove. The barb of the pin stays outside the top shell, away from the mantle tissue. Maintenance on the water consisted chiefly of biofouling control, and machinery performed this task as well, in particular, limiting damage from soft body fouling organisms such as tuna. The last machine used to prepare scalps for market is a final cleaner, this time for hard-bodied fouling such as barnacles. The process looks fairly harsh, but resulted in a clean shell. This is Dana Morse from Maine Sea Grant and University of Maine Cooperative Extension. Thanks for watching.